So right here we have the hole in the tunnel for the shifter. Um, we put these two bolts coming up from the bottom, which normally hold the manual shifter. This was a manual car before. So these two bolts um, would normally come through just the same way and hold the manual uh, shift rods up there uh, with the bushing. So since this is a multi-ply chassis, or most chassis are, so you can see there's two plies of sheet metal and we've cut away a lot of it. I ran the bolts up there anyways. Uh, that way it could reinforce that sheet metal that's underneath there that's not um, welded to the spot welded to this. So this helps hold, hold that. And this, with the nuts coming through, or with the bolts coming through, will have two nuts on top of it, which I'll show in a second, holding the plate in place down here. And then we have another rib nut that's going in up here, right there, to hold the top, the top uh, part of the uh, mount on there. And we'll show that in just a second. So here's the gist of how it's going to be inside there. Um, we have our bottom section in there. We have our top plate. As you can tell, it's flush mounted. There's no gap. It's tight inside there. We're not even fastened down all the way. It's tight inside there. So we can fit the factory center console onto this and uh, won't have the gear shifter setting up high like a TSX uh, shifter, the plastic shifters. Plus this, this is all metal, so you can slam gears all day and not have to worry about breaking anything. There is a shifter installed. It's not 100% installed. It's about 90%. I'm going to do a few more things to it. I'm just showing how it looks. It looks so good sitting flat. Good height on the shifter lever. And there it is with the center console on. It's not 100% on. Just slid over it just to show how it works. Pretty nice the way it looks so stock. I like it. So here's the uh, shifter mounted inside the uh, tunnel. We cut it out. And as you can see... We sealed it in from the bottom side. We'll get a better, we'll get a video of that too. But we sealed it in all the way around from underneath. We will paint the tunnel at a later date uh, when we're getting closer to finishing the project. So yeah, so it literally sits in there on its own due to the seal. It's a very hard component. All right, so here's the bottom of the shifter. As you can see, it's all sealed in. And those are rivnets in it. So that way we can bolt the top plate right into it. 